My early work was environmental performance sculpture in which I either used a found environment or a created environment and then systemically integrated the performance into the place because I realized that everything happens in a place and when we do that systemically, work with a place and what goes on in the place, then we're creating whole experiences. I also thought of this early work as a life frame or life frames. Initially, as in Portable Park One, as a um, still life. And then the life frame became more participatory as in Portable Parks Two and Three, and people became involved in participating in these performance installations. And then later with the farm, which was even more participatory and involved transforming many places, I also thought that the ultimate performance was being a total human being. And so that's the performance that I worked on at the farm, and it's one that I'm still working on today. For me, performance has evolved to become interactive community programs or hands-on interdisciplinary learning integrated systemically in the place. And so structurally, what I was doing decades ago is still something that I'm doing today. Life Frames Inc. is the nonprofit organization that I founded in Direct. And it's the sponsor of a living library, which is meant to be in diverse communities. And it's a vehicle for helping us to understand interconnected systems, biological, cultural, and technological. And Life Frames works with diverse communities and schools in making ecological transformation that is then systemically integrated with hands-on community programs or learning opportunities. And it also results in transforming really ugly places and making them beautiful and more ecological. And then it's integrated with these hands-on learning programs. So people are actually educated about whole systems. I call this work systemic ecological design. And it's really a way to bring local resources together and use them to transform places. A very powerful planning tool that I developed, which I call a living library framework, links local resources, human, ecological, economic, historic, technological, and aesthetic. And when we look at these assets through the lens of time, past, present, and future, we find incredible richness wherever we are and a lot of content to work with. This then results in the transformation of beautiful places that are systemically integrated with hands-on programs that relate to multiple issues like climate change, community education, flood mitigation, environmental justice, green skills job training, and other related issues. What, I'm, what I really want to do is create branch living library and think parks in diverse communities locally and globally and link them so we can really begin to connect with each other and understand how we are all interconnected and how our different cultures and ecologies relate to each other even though they may be very different. I think this is an important thing to do and that's why I'm doing it.